Hi folks, welcome to News Roundup number 244. We're whizzing through them, aren't we? Here we go. The Daily Mail introduced us to Balthazar, a seven-foot Great Dane, which, at 15 stone six pounds, could be Britain's heaviest dog. Owner Vinnie Monte Irvin from Nottingham said he is a big dog and we were told from when he was a lot smaller that he was always quite heavy for his age. We took him to the vets as he has a poorly leg and he needed to be weighed to see much how much medication he can take. After he was weighed, everyone at the surgery was gobsmacked. There's an interesting word, isn't it? Gobsmacked. I love it. Uh, also, if you want to know how much 15 stone 6 pounds is in kilograms, you'll have to look it up because I still work in pounds and ounces and stones. <laughs> A charity has warned that some of the UK's rarest plants could be facing extinction. The Guardian reports that action needs to be taken to look after the road vergers that have become the final refuge for species such as fen ragwort and wood calamint. Conservation charity Plant Life says that fen ragwort now only exists in one native spot near a burger van on the A142 in Cambridgeshire. Interestingly, talking about plants, I was on a walk on Sunday and I spotted some yellow dead nettle, which I haven't seen for a long time. And continuing the environmental theme, Britons could face greater challenges to maintain their gardens, according to a new report by the Royal Horticultural Society. The independent article says climate change could dramatically alter plants and lawns in British gardens. Drier summers and more frequent extreme winter weather may lead to flood-proof flower beds, exotic plants and new pests and diseases. The report concludes that climate change could mean gardens will need more mowing, weeding and pruning and some gardeners may turn to synthetic lawns as a shortage of summer rain makes it difficult to maintain real grass. On display for the first time will be a collection of ancient Egyptian amulets acquired by Florence Nightingale in 1849 when she was on holiday in the Middle Eastern country. An article in The Guardian says that they will be on show in the new Egyptian gallery in the British Museum. Ashley Cook, senior curator of antiquities, commented, What she brought back is fascinating to us, but I think she expected to be offered ancient treasures and she was very disappointed with what was available, he said. Ironically, we are displaying some of the objects which she did rate and was very pleased at getting hold of, which have turned out, alas, to be fakes. Someone has forked out £150,000 for a fur coat worn by a stewardess on the Titanic who was saved from the doomed ship. The Independent reports that Mabel Bennett threw on the heavy coat to protect herself from the cold before being rescued by a lifeboat as the liner went down after hitting an iceberg in 1912. Mabel lived to 95, making her one of the longest living female Titanic crew members. Other items of Titanic memorabilia sold by Wiltshire auctioneer's Henry Aldridge included a sepia photograph of the ship, believed to have been taken on the ni- April the 9th, 1912, the day before it left Southampton for New York, which sold for £12,500, and a letter written aboard the ship by first-class passenger Alphonse Simonius Blumer, a Swiss colonel, to his sweetheart, which fetched £32,500. What a lot of money for nothing. (laughs) Take care, everyone. Have a good weekend. Bye-bye.